Thank you for joining me today. I thought it'd be fun we take a good look at Transformers Generation Legacy United Beast Wars Universe Tigerhawk. So let's bring this up closer. And we could tell that we don't have a plastic window, but it does give us a better opportunity to take a closer look at Tiger Hawk at himself. I like what I see so far. I love the product art of Tiger Hawk in the beast mode. And here on the side of the packaging, we have Tiger Hawk in robot mode. And here on the other side of the back of the packaging, we have Tiger Hawk in his robot mode and beast mode. And it says we could convert him into 43 steps. And here on the other side, we have the promotion art for Legacy United. So, let's get Tiger Hawk out of packaging. And here we go. And you know what we say. Goodbye, box. We have papers. We have instructions. Who needs those? Here on the back, doesn't look like we have anything sneaky. Here in the front, it looks like we have everything that we need. And so let's free Tiger Hawk from packaging. And here we have Tiger Hawk out of packaging. And let's just bring this guy up close because there is a lot of details going on. But that head sculpt, the transparent green behind that head, that that is just beautiful. The paint to this claws is just amazing. I love the maximal symbol that we have here. And the the head to the tires, uh, everything, the stripes, I love. I, I've, I am blown away so far. This looks phenomenal. Tiger Hawk does come with a lot of accessories for his wings. These things are so cool. And uh, I love the different ways you can use them. You can plug them right into his hand. You have that. Or it can actually come here to the wings and there is actually a plug. And we can actually just attach that there. I want to do the same thing here on the other side. Bring that wing out. And then we're just going to attach it right in there. And now if you want, shoot off the feathers. Tiger Hawk also has a little blaster that we can actually plug into the side of his forearm here. So we're just going to attach that right there. So he has a nice gun right on his forearm. Not too bad. And his other guns, he can actually wield them in his hand. Let's get them on. And now Tiger Hawk is ready to take on any situation. I like that. That's cool. But what you can also do with these. We're going to come to the back here, to the wings. We're going to take this and we're just going to push that over. That reveals that we have a hole. We have this peg and we're just going to place it right in there. And if we want, we can close it up or snap it up. And we're going to do the same thing here on the other side. So let's push that over and we're just going to plug that right inside and we're just going to have that pointed up let's get these over here and man just look at that the tiger hawk means business this is this is so awesome articulation his head we can rotate left and right oh my god there we go. And he does have a little bit of up and down movement. His arms, if we move the wings out of the way, we can rotate them 360. We can even bring out the arms that far out. We do have a bicep swivel. We even have an elbow joint. There is no wrist articulation. I really like that, by the way. 
I like that. That's really nice. If we lift up on the skirt, we do have a little bit of waist articulation, but only so far, but it is still nice. It's better than nothing. We do have a thigh swivel. We do have a bend at the knee joint, so not a whole lot. We can actually now bring his leg that far back. We can get his leg that high up, bring the legs down, and we do have a little bit of ankle articulation. And if you want, you can actually bring the legs out that far if you wanted to and yes this are ratchet joints so you know that guy's going to stay up you can get in some awesome posability for this this is an awesome figure so far to transform tiger hawk we're actually going to start with the hands so what we're going to do is open up these bottom panels and get the hands in and for just the the head alone for this one, we want to make sure that the elbow is actually going to be pointing in. We also want to come here to this other panel and place the other hand in. Just bring them down and we're just going to leave them as B. We want to get the wings kind of spread out of the way. Let's see, we can do something like that. So now what we want to do, untab the legs from the chest, come back here, and we're going to untab it from the back. There we go. Same thing here on the other side. Untab that. And now what we also want to do is bring our attention here to the legs. And we want to bring them forward like that. And we just want to bring this purple whole thing back. And this is really tight. There we go. And then we want to make sure that we're going to be pushing this part of the foot up. This part will come forward. And same with this claw. There we go. Come here to the other leg. Do the same thing. And we're just going to bring this all the way back. There we go. And then we're just going to bring this claw out as we push this one back in. And then this will snap up and this will follow. Now we want to untab here at the shoulders. There we go. And now we want to untab here and untab there. Now we want to make sure that the backpack is detached. So now we can actually get these legs, bring them up forward. There we go. There we go. And now we lift up on the skirt. And now we spread at the legs. There we go. And now we're halfway through the transformation. Okay. Bring this part out. Bring these legs up a little forward so we can bring this whole section over snap that into place bring our attention here to the head I want to turn that around and bring those in just going to make sure that these legs are just out of the way for right now and we want to bring our attention here so we can flip this around and now we want to bring, there's a tab that will go right into a slot right there. There we go. And now we want to bring this part of the arm, collapse it in. And there is going to be, go, collapse that in right there. And now there is going to be a tab with a slot. There we go. And now we want to take these covers. Now, there is a slot with tabs. So we're just got to bring that up. And that'll go right there and bring this forward as well. And same thing, tab and slot. Bring that together. Take this 
and swing it down. We are now going to bring out the head. And now there is a slot and there is a peg. I just want to make sure that stays right there. Keep that closed. Now there is a tab right there and a slot. Oh no, keep that panel closed. And there we go. Have that attached right in there. Now, we have a slot, we have a tab, we have a hole, we have a peg. So we just wanna make sure that we get that all lined up. Same thing here on the other side. There we go. Bring out the legs bring out the head and we're just going to close up there there we go well I guess we could bring that out yeah why not yeah there we go bring those out and we just got to make sure we bring out the legs here as well let's kind of get them bent just like that and now we have tiger hawk fully transformed into his beast mode look at this guy this guy looks amazing I just the transformation is a little tricky but the finished product is just it's amazing uh, the only thing i would have an issue with is the back legs um i wish they had like maybe tighter joints because sometimes it doesn't provide enough support in the back like you couldn't do any Oh, I guess maybe let's see if we could. Come on, balance. Balance. You can do something like that, maybe. So I guess that's not so bad. Look at that. Keeping his balance. That's awesome. Didn't think that was going to happen. There we go. Well, maybe it's mostly in the knees. I know, yeah, it's mostly in the knees. A little looser. And let's get those on there and oh no the legs don't want to stay let's get the legs back up there we go and that's 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 pretty awesome look that is so awesome to transform tiger hawk back into his robot mode we actually want to start here at the shoulders and we just want to detach them there we go. Same thing here on the other side. Bring those out. Let's get these legs out of the way. There we go. And now untab back here so we can open up in here. There we go. Untab. Let's get that. And what I suggest kind of getting there we go pulling out that so we can get this out of the way untab it like that now we can bring this part bring this out all the way turn this around and close it so let's have these arms just out of the way so we can actually turn there we go bring out the head turn it around Let's get these legs and let's bend it there. And we're going to try to slide everything back. There we go. Place that back up there. There we go. And now we want to come back here. Place that back up. And this actually gives us, let's get that out of the way great opportunity because we have a hole we have a peg and we want to make sure that that is lined up like that let's come back here and like i said we have a hole right here on the leg itself i know everything's in the way it goes right into that peg come on there we go so now we can actually come here to the chest and we want to angle it because we have a tab that will go into that slot there we go and the same thing here 
we have a tab and the slot. And I need to angle this down a little bit so that will close. We have a tab and a slot, so that will just bring that down. There we go. Same thing here. We have that slot with that tab. Let's get that in. There we go. And let's just get to these panels under his arms so we can bring out his hands. There we go. Open up this panel. Bring out the hands. There we go. Close that up. Straighten out that hand. Open up that skirt and bring the legs together. Bring the legs down. Close that skirt. Now what we want to do is bring this all the way back. Have that claw right there. Now we want to bring back this purple and straighten it right there. Bring this back. That will be the heel. Okay, bring this all the way back. Right there. Bring this purple thing here back. And then bring back on that heel. And what we want to do is make sure that these tabs will go into these slots there. And there we go. And let's get that one in. There we go. And you can angle the wings whichever way you want. Oh no. Whichever way you want. And there we go. And now we have Tiger Hawk fully transformed back into his robot mode. My final thoughts on Tiger Hawk. This guy's incredible. For a leader class, I actually feel like I'm actually getting my money's worth out of this. I, especially with the paint that we're going on with. Uh, the transformation at one point, it just seems like it's like, what's going on? But once you get a hang of it, it's actually a really fun to transform. Just a few extra steps to do, but hey, this guy's definitely worth it. This guy's amazing. Just my only issue with the figure with its hawk feet is when it's in its beast mode, kind of is not as stable as much. Um, other than that, I love this figure. I highly recommend this to anybody. This is a great figure. Not only that, this guy is definitely shelf worthy. Well, with that said, I just have to thank you all for watching. If you could just do me a favor and just hit the like and subscribe button down below, let me know in the comments if you think he's shelf worthy. And until next time, you'll be hearing me in the next video. Everybody have a great day!